Hi, my name is Moyash. In this video, I will show you how to create a C ball in Paint.net software. So, let's begin. We need first to install an external plugin for Paint.net. Please, open your browser and go to this page. I will put the link in the description. The new plugin called Shape 3D. Scroll down a little bit and click on the download button here. The download the compressed file. Here is the compressed file we just downloaded. Double click to open it. And here is the plugin we need. Shape 3D.dll. Now go to the destination folder of paint.net. In the normal case, it will be in C partition. Program files. Paint.net. Effects. Change the view to icons from here. And drag the plugin here to make a copy. Click continue. And close these windows. Now, open paint.net. Let's first check the existence of the new plugin. Go to Effects menu, then Render. And here it is. Now, let's create the ball. Go to Image menu, then Resize. Keep the default width as 800, and change the height to 50 pixels. And click OK. I will keep the white color. Now, go to Colors, and click More. Set the opacity to 0, for both primary and secondary colors. Now, go to Image menu, then Canvas Size. Set the anchor to bottom, and increase the height to 100 pixels. And because we set the opacity to 0, the new area will be empty. So, let's fill it with a suitable color. Let's repeat it again. Go to Image, then Canvas Size. And increase the height to 150 pixels. And color the new area. Again, increase the height to 200 pixels. And choose a color for the new area. Now, I will repeat these steps until the image canvas reach 800 by 800 pixels. The last strip will be in yellow color. Zoom out a little bit. And let's convert this image to ball shape by using the new plugin we installed. Go to Effects, Render, Shape 3D. That will open the plugin window. Move it to a side. As you see, by default, it's set to Sphere. But you can use this plugin to create a cylinder or a box. Keep the default settings as it is. And go down to Object Rotation. Change the angle of axis 1 to the direction you want. I will set the angle directly to 60 degree in this box. And hit enter from keyboard. Nice. Change the angle of axis 2. I think 330 degree will be good. Type 330 in the box. And hit enter from keyboard. Very nice. No need to change axis 3. But you can change it the same way as you want. Then click OK. Now we have a ball shape with a transparent background. Let's save it as a PNG file. Go to File. Save as. Give it a name. 
and choose PNG file type and click save then OK now let's create a ball from the strips in the other direction click the undo icon here then go to image menu and click rotate 90 degree clockwise and let's just repeat the same action of the effect very nice by following the same steps you can change this to this and this to this and this one to this one of course you can use better colors than i did in this video and you can use different rotation angles now i will show you the last trick in this video to create this ball shape these strips are 900 by 150 pixels for each now create a new layer then choose the rectangle select and make a suitable selection at the top and fill it with white now choose the move selection tool hold and move the top node to edit the selection area and fill it with blue clear the selection and merge the two layers now time to create the ball looks very nice let's try to change the angles 70 degree and enter 340 degree and enter i think it's great i like this one if you found this video helpful please subscribe and consider donating to moyash on patreon or paypal Thanks for watching. And see you next time.